like paper just as much as I like fabric. There's so many wonderful patterns with scrapbooking paper, rice paper, any of the wonderful collage papers. So, what happens if you mix paper with a water bottle? I have a great idea. Check it out. My favorite water bottle to use for this particular project is either the Smart Water Bottle or there's, because it's smooth, or there's also the Aquafina and the Dasani because they have a space that's very smooth and you really need the smoothness for this project because we're going to use two layers. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to remove the label. It's just an adhesive label on the Smart Water and you just remove it. Now you will have a glue or a stickiness, so be sure you use like Goo Gone or Undo, one of those that will remove the stickiness from that sticker. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to tape off the size of your water bottle. So let's say I want my water bottle 5 eighths of an inch. I have 5 eighths of an inch wide masking tape. And I just go around the bottle and I can usually get about eight of that size from this bottle. Then I take a craft knife and I just put my craft knife in to get it started and then I cut the rest with the scissors. I trim the edges right up to the tape. On both sides. And you need two for each one. So you're going to remove the tape. And you're going to also cut a piece of your paper, any kind of paper that you want. This is a scrapbooking paper with a little bit of silver metallic. And I'm just going to put a little bit of glue here just to help hold it. Now, the second water bottle bracelet piece, you're going to have to cut to get it to wrap around. We're going to wrap it around, see if you can see this. There we go. We wrap it around like so. Now, there is going to be a space on this, on each bracelet. No matter what, you always have a space. This one's probably about, oh, sixteenth of an inch. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take some of this foil tape. It hits an adhesive back and we're going to take the adhesive back off of it. And very carefully, you don't need to take it all off at one time. You're going to start on one edge Make sure it's centered and straight. Make 
actually I think if I go like this I can probably get this first side on first bring it out and then that way you can see how I'm putting it on too see how it's right down in the middle take a little bit more of the paper off right down the middle I'm going to put it around. So I have I have plastic under here. My paper is attached to the first plastic and then I've got this second one going over. So my paper is sandwiched in between the two pieces of plastic. And I'm just going to simply push my tape over. catches the back side. And when I get around to the once the end, I'm just going to kind of pull it tight and get that last little area. The, the start of this one is the hardest. Once you get it started, it just, it's, it's a breeze. And I want to make sure that my tape is even. And then I'm going to go to the inside and smooth all that out. Smooth on the top. And there I have my first side. Then we repeat with the second side. Remove the paper back. Don't do it all the way. Put it in and remember on your second side you want it to be the same space away that this one is. And again, push over the side. Go to the inside, until you have it all down. And there you have your bracelet. It looks like it's like a glass bracelet. Can't you just picture a whole bunch of these different ones on your wrist? Isn't that cool?